Hello Virgo, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for you guys from August 4th through the 11th, 2020. Hope you guys are doing well. Basically, I'm going to pull a couple of these animal oracle cards, or animal spirit oracle cards, and then we'll get into the tarot to figure out what's coming in for you. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate. If they do, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for your support. What do we got, Virgo? August 4th through the 11th. What messages of light and love do we have for Virgo? We have the crow spirit co-create with spirit. Wow, okay. In a creative space right now, manifesting your own reality perhaps, being called to. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. There's some struggle you may be facing right now. Virgo, we will get into it and figure out what's going on. Okay, we got two more. We have the Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely at a crossroads here. Skunk Spirit, know your worth, okay? This whole situation could be testing your self-confidence right now Virgo let's figure out what's going on okay I'm gonna pull from this fountain tarot recent past current energy and immediate future for Virgo August 4th through the 11th 2020 what is going on with Virgo recent past okay we have the devil okay could be dealing with the Capricorn doesn't have to be um, possibly some kind of toxicity in your recent past. And then we have the Nine of Cups coming in. A wish granted. Some kind of wish fulfillment coming through. A blessing in disguise, maybe even. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Current energy for Virgo. August 4th through the 11th. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> feels like you're really, it just feels like your confidence is being tested right now. You're creating some kind of um, reality with Ace of Cups. There's some kind of new love coming in here. That could be a job offer. That could be a romantic partner. We have the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups, okay? Using your intuition, walking away from something that doesn't serve you, perhaps. We will get into it and find out what's going on there. Immediate future. Keeping in mind there is free will. We have Six of Swords, some kind of parting of ways, and your immediate future here. Okay, we have the Four of Swords healing, healing um, from some kind of um, parting of ways here. Okay, we have the King of Wands, strong fire energy, strong masculine, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. It just feels like you're in this creative energy of trying to um, create a new life for yourself, whether that's with a job or in a relationship or even both. Okay, I'm feeling both here. Um, so I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use this Wild Unknown Tarot to clarify what's this double about spirit in the recent past for Virgo. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. A strong manifestation of earning your own money here recent past Capricorn is that if that makes sense let me get into it a little further here we have the Emperor 
Hmm. You were dealing with somebody who was very, well, let me clarify a little bit more. I'm trying to, <laughs> wow, straight away, we have the king of swords here, a very cold energy, a very calculated energy. Um, and with this devil card being here, someone who is really focused on the money and there's some kind of toxicity related to it, okay? It's this very cold, um, masculine energy, someone who perhaps created some kind of toxicity in your life. Four of Wands, it could be a family member, could be a boss, could be a family member. Um, two of Swords, you're at some kind of crossroads with this situation here. This contract, maybe? Three of Cups, this person may have been your friend in a friend group, perhaps in a work situation. Um, we have the Page of Swords. So it just looks like you're, you're really learning a lesson here in relation to um, some kind of toxic energy with this cold <laughs> masculine, okay? Um, and this, was, uh, this person may have been a good friend of yours, but it just looks like this has been a lesson learned here. It's really leading you to your Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. Spirit, tell me more about this Nine of Cups in the recent past. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? Um, oh, I'm sorry, Seven of Cups. My bad, sorry, Seven of Cups. And then Ten of Cups. So some kind of happily ever after here. Um, it just feels like you're in a much lighter, happier energy, perhaps there's been a parting of ways with this person or <laughs> it just feels like you've been able to rise above whatever this issue was with this toxicity it's leading you to your ten of cups and this nine of cups happily ever after seven of cups possibly having to be careful with your money um, and then with, with this Queen of Cups being here, Spirit, tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, okay, we have, we have this Six of Pentacles, okay? Some kind of partnership here with this Queen of Cups, a feminine energy, this uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have a King of Cups here. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This isn't a work work situation, for sure, okay? Um, we have the Page of Cups. It just feels like you're possibly co-creating with someone, a partnership. A, a, a discussion may have happened between you and, and this water sign, this Queen of Cups here, um, about a partnership. And there's some kind of King of Cups involved here not sure that may be another partner in this business perhaps or just this this calm i mean you have the king and the queen of cups here so you know it's two three people perhaps that you're dealing with here um in this partnership work situation eight of pentacles Yeah, this is just, it feels like you're working on something with someone, and then this Page of Cups being here, it feels like you're possibly daydreaming about the future. It came out twice. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Knight of Cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so there could be someone um, pursuing you romantically here, okay? This King of Cups here. Interesting. Because you do have this Ace of Cups coming in in your immediate future here. This is some kind of new love interest. Perhaps you were talking with this person about a, part, a possible partnership and a work situation. Um, and, you know, this person may also be trying to pursue you romantically or vice versa. You were pursuing them. Spirit, tell me more about this Nine of Wands. This has just been, it feels like a test in your confidence. Okay. Um, you're really having to, it just feels like you're balancing a couple of different things here. You've got toxicity over here with a friend group. 
And then you've got a work situation over here with co-creating some kind of reality here. Maybe this, this um, past devil energy was in a work situation too, and maybe there was a um, wish granted in terms of moving towards a, another venture of some kind. Um, Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, we have it twice. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups twice. Um, so there is some kind of new love coming in right now, whether that's a new job or a new um, King of Wands. Ooh. So this is a very passionate, confident, attractive energy coming forward here. This is a King of Cups, or I'm sorry, a King of Wands. He's very, he could be a fire sign, um, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or he could just be just a really passionate, self-confident, attractive. Um, he looks good, he smells good, and he's, I feel like this is a very, wow, interesting. <laughs> You're gonna have fun here. I just feel like it's been a test of your self-confidence, but then there's this Eight of Cups, okay? You have the Nine of Wands coming in. It, and it came in twice. Um, you have the Nine of Wands twice. Looks like you're just trying to protect yourself. There's a very cautious feeling I'm feeling here, and maybe in relation to job and in relation to your love life. You're very, you're being. It feels like you're very. Um, how do I describe this? It feels like you're very um, delicate right now. Okay. You don't want to have any more disappointments. You don't want to um, get your heart broken and you want things to work out. You're trying to remain positive. You're trying to remain creative in this moment, but um, you're really worried that things aren't gonna work out. You have a six of cups situation here where there, you're maybe healing childhood wounds at this time. Um, it just feels like there's a lot going on here a lot of heavy stuff going on here with, you know, a new love, an, an old love, um, a, a partnership, business idea. A, there's just a lot going on right now. And then we have the Knight of Wands, okay? Someone's kind of a player. Oh. This King of Wands might be kind of a player, okay? And in the immediate future, you have the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the King of Wands coming out again. My goodness. There's a parting of ways here. Spirit, tell me more about this parting of ways. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups. So this is going to be a wish granted, <laughs> a blessing in disguise. This may hurt for you. There's healing here in your immediate future with this Four of Swords. There's probably... I mean, I don't mean to say this, take it how it resonates, but there's the five of cups is coming out. There's some kind of disappointment or um, feeling a loss after this player energy came in. Perhaps this was, this is just a fling that you're dealing with for many of you. The king of wands comes through in your immediate future as well. What's happening here, spirit? could be that you're walking away from this person. Ten of Wands. You might just be like, this is too much burden for me right now. I have a lot going on. Um, you know, I'm trying to plan my future. I'm trying to be creative and possibly have a business idea happening. Then this new love comes in. It's just too much burden. And it feels like you're considering whether you walk away from it. You're using your intuition to figure out whether you want to put time and effort into this new relationship. Um, but it looks like you, it, for many of you, it looks like you end up parting ways, okay? It's not, it's going to hurt, okay? Four of Cups, yeah, there's disappointment here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's disappointment here. I know that this person is very attractive, and it felt great. It was fun for a second, but it just feels like this person was pl a player. Oh, I know, it's horrible. Ten of um, Wands here, they just really... This is too much for you to deal with, with everything going on here. Interesting. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. Four of Swords. It just, you really just want to rest. <laughs> and I feel like that's what Spirit is calling you to do because it comes out twice here. Um, in your immediate future, Four of Swords. 
there's so many duplicate cards going on here. Um, and you know, you have to let go, you may have to let go this King of Wands, this player person. You may have to let them go so that you can heal, okay? And be able to focus your energy on whatever these partnership projects are. Um, and you know, with all the, there's wishes granted here, okay? Um, with this nine of cups, you have the nine of cups twice as well. So there's some, there's some heavy things going on here, but you also have the nine of cups twice. Like there's wishes being granted. And so if you've, you've wished upon a star and said, you know, I really want to manifest a new career situation. Um, I really want to get to my happiness. Then then all of these things needed to happen this disappointment this healing this broken heart this parting of ways all these things need to happen to get to your nine of cups okay this is really what this reading is all about is that these things are here and they're not may not while they may not work out this is really a test in your a confidence okay it's really a test in your ability to choose yourself and where are you going to be able to put your energy in a healthy way and in a productive way? And um, feels like this King of Wands might be a distract a distraction and a disappointment. And um, yeah, use your intuition on this one, um, and know that it's supposed to be that you get back on your path here. Okay, <laughs> heal, get to a place of healing, take a break. You don't need to accomplish everything right now. You may be feeling this rush to get everything done right now. You don't have to do that. Just take it one step at a time. Um, you know, I wouldn't say don't have fun with this new love interest. Like I probably would as well, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. But just know that um, if things don't work out, it's really meant to put you back on track with fulfilling your dreams, okay? Wow, Virgo, goodness. <laughs> Let me pull a couple of these Moonology um, Oracle cards to end out this reading. Okay, we have Prosperity Lies Ahead. Oh, yes, Virgo. You got to know that you need to get all this Shiite out of the way in order to bring in what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. We've got conclusions are within reach, okay? You're probably hanging on what's gonna happen with this new love interest I'm dealing with right now. I'm trying to be confident and put on a, a space of like, this doesn't hurt, but it, you know, it does hurt, it does, okay? But look, the luck is on your side. <gasps> How amazing, Virgo. I'm, this will work out, I promise, okay? <laughs> Keep at it. Sending you guys love and light, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.